Okay, so we have some groundbreaking news. Scientists from NASA have just revealed that the Perseverance rover may have found evidence of microbial life once hosted on the planet Mars. This very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars. So how did they do it? Well, the Perseverance rover, jam-packed with all its technology and analyzing equipment, drilled into a mudstone in the Jezero crater. Billions of years ago, this was a lake where rivers fed fine sediment into a basin. During its travels, the Perseverance rover stumbled across this rather unusual looking rock specimen. They collected a sample known as a Sapphire Canyon sample and analyzed it. And what they found was truly bizarre. The scientists found three things bundled together, organic carbon, vivianite, and graygite. On Earth, that combination is no coincidence. It's the fingerprint for microbial activity. In high resolution images, the rock sample showed two distinct features, tiny nodules nicknamed poppy seeds and larger blotches nicknamed leopard spots. Chemical scans of the poppy seeds showed that they were rich in iron and phosphorus, typical for vivianite. The leopard spots had rims of vivianite too, but the inner cores were graygite filled with nickel, iron, and zinc. And right around these zones, Perseverance identified organic carbon, as noted by these G-band signatures in the analysis. Now, this arrangement matters, because on Earth, in lake beds, bogs, and marine muds, microbes feed off organic carbon. They then use ferric iron and sulfates in the sediments as electron acceptors. This electron exchange feeds a redox reaction. In simple terms, these are chemical exchanges of electrons releasing energy, the same basic chemistry that microbes use to fuel themselves. The byproduct of this metabolism is what we're seeing here, graygite and vivianite. So these nodules and spots may mark the location of ancient microbial life once hosted on Mars. From a geological perspective, what makes this so compelling is the context. The Bright Angel mudstones from where the sample was taken was in a low setting lacustrine or lake environment. Fine grained sediments like this are excellent at preserving chemical signatures over billions of years. Now, could geology explain this? Something abiotic? Yes, but highly unlikely. See, abiotic reactions, which create vivianite and graygite, are painfully slow without life. And they often need temperatures of over 150 degrees Celsius to happen. But these rocks show no evidence of heat. The textures themselves are organized and concentrated, looking like microbial hotspot colonies. And another spanner in the works is, geologically speaking, these mudstones are relatively young. That means Mars may have been habitable a lot later than we once thought. But the rover can only go so far. What we're looking to do now is try and find a way to get these samples back from Mars. Until we run the isotopic tests in a lab on Earth, we will never know for sure whether this is microbial life. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching us on Earth Explained. Like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.